Today on MTG Unpacked, we have a nice selection of packs for patrons. So we have the whole original Theros block here, along with Throne of Eldraine. So let's introduce the patrons. We have Brian Simmons and Oscar Centura Strata. Thank you for being patrons. So they're going to get one each of these. So let's do things like so. And we'll have a bit of a pack battle here. So it should be interesting. All right, let's get started with Brian Simmons. Thank you, sir. And the patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck. Starting off with Theros. So we'll do a bit of lighting boost here. Pump that up a bit. There we go. We have Demolish, Afara's Warden, Scholar of Athreos, Disciple of Phanax, Commune with the Gods. Hopeful Eidolon, Spark Jolt, Return Phalanx, Coastline Chimera, Farika's Cure, and Uncorn's Akroan Hoplite, Insatiable Harpy, Arena Athlete, and Rare, oh it's a Mythic, yes, it's Polucranos World Eater, Legendary Creature Hydra 5 5 for 4. So you pay X, X, A, green, it has monstrosity X. If this creature isn't monstrous, put X plus one plus one counters on it and it becomes monstrous. When Polucranos World Eater becomes monstrous, it deals X damage. Divide as you choose among any number of target creatures your opponents control. Nice. Each of those creatures deals damage equal to its power to Polucranos. So that would get out of control very quickly, I imagine. And a planes and a golem token. I'll put that in as well. That's a pretty cool token. Okay, so moving across here to Oscar. Let's see if he can beat a Mythic. That's going to be a tough one, I think. We start off with Ferris Band Centaurs, Nylea's Presence, Traveler's Amulet, Shredding Winds, Fate Foretold, Portent of Betrayal, Observant Asyad, Defend the Hearth, Agent of Horizons, Uncommon's Horizon Scholar, Chronicler of Heroes, Satyr Piper, and rare is Heroes Downfall. Instant for three, destroy target creature or planeswalker. That doesn't quite cut it, but still a decent pull. You also get, whoa, a foil, Prescient Chimera. Check it out. And a planes and a soldier token. Okay, so moving on, Born of the Gods. Probably everyone's least favorite set in this block, but we can still get some god pools here. I think we have Satessan Starbreaker, Weight of the Underworld, Sphinx's Disciple, War Chanter of Mogus, Minotaur Shaman. That is pretty cool. Revoke Existence, Nullify, Impetuous Sun Chaser, Culling Mark, Necrobite. And Uncommon's Gorgon's Head. Isn't that delightful? Ghostblade Eidolon. Flitterstep Eidolon. And rare is Whelming Wave. Uh, I wonder if that's the opposite of the Underwhelming Wave. Sorcery for four returnal creatures to their owner's hands. Except for Krakens, Leviathans, Octopuses and Serpents. I can see why this appeals to Thassa, says Kioral. Yes, indeed. All right, and a foil revoke existence. Yes, okay, pop that over there with a swamp and a soldier token. All right, Oscar, let's see if we can beat that. That shouldn't be too difficult, although he is a bit behind already, didn't get a mythic yet. We have Epiphany Storm, Hold at Bay, Marsh Mist Titan, Nyxborn Wolf, Floodtide Serpent, Nyxborn Shieldmate, Fall of the Hammer, Karametra's Favor, Oreskus Sun Guide, Gorgon's Head, yes, you get a Gorgon Head and you get a Gorgon Head, Lightning Volley, Siren of the Silent Song, and rare is Temple of Malice, yes, it's a land in the Rakdos colors, enters the battlefield tapped, when enters the battlefield scry one, and you can tap it for black or red, very nice artwork there. And a foil rare, Spirit of the Labyrinth, Enchantment Creature Spirit, 3-1 for 2. Each player can't draw more than one card each turn. There we are, Oscar, back in the game. 
a mountain and a wolf token. Okay, so I think Oscar wins round two. Moving on, journey into next. So I bet everybody is eager to see Theros Beyond Death coming up in January. Are you going to take part in the pre-release? Let me know in the comments. We have Market Festival, Grim Guardian, Cloaked Siren, Rouse the Mob, Armament of Nyx, Thassa's Devourer, Gluttonous Cyclops, yes! Sigiled Starfish, Starfall, Cruel Feeding, Uncommon's Ritual of the Returned, Pull from the Deep, Nyx Weaver, and the rare is Hydra Broodmaster, yes! So your second Hydra here, Creature Hydra 7746, you pay X, X, and A. Green has Monstrosity X. When it becomes monstrous, put X, 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 green Hydra creature tokens onto the battlefield. Craziness. And Island. And what is this? A bit about the Satyr Planeswalker Xenagos. Are you aware of the lore relating to Xenagos? Leave a note in the comments. Okay, Oscar. Come on, mate. You can do it. So you've got a beta a Hydra. I think the Hydras are usually fairly low end, although there are exceptions. Okay, we have Returned Reveler, Countermand, Pensive Minotaur, Armament of Nyx, Font of Fertility, Rotted Hulk, Font of Ire, Aspect of Gorgon, Mortal Obstinacy, Pin to the Earth, and Uncommon Sky Spear Cavalry, Tormented Thoughts, yes! Pull from the deep. And the rare is Ferris Band War Chief. You, sir, are not going to cut it. Creature Centaur Warrior 3 3 for 4. With Vigilance and Trample other creatures or Centaur creatures you control get plus 1 plus 1 and have Vigilance and Trample. So that's probably on a par with the Hydra, I would say. They Mountain and a Bird Token. Alright, so I'm going to call round 3 a draw. Moving back to Brian here. Throne of Eldraino. Okay, hope we get a bit of spiciness in the close here. We have Silver Flame Squire, so tiny! Rimrock Knight, Garambrig Carver, Festive Funeral, Roving Keep, Corridor Monitor, Flutter Fox, Crashing Drawbridge, Ginger Boot, there he is! Uncommon Sir Kara the Bold, Edgewall Innkeeper, Order of Midnight Showcase. Got the play out of this, very nice. I'm gonna put this in for you as well. And the rare, yes, Emery Lurker of the Lock. Legendary Creature Murphy, Wizard 1, 2, 3. This spell costs one less to cast for each artifact you control when Emery Lurker of the Lock enters the battlefield. Put the top four cards of your library into your graveyard. You can tap, choose target artifact card in your graveyard. You may cast that card this turn. Nice pull there. And a planes and a fairy token. So that is going to be interesting. Still possible to beat that Oscar. So fingers crossed for you, sir. Okay, we have Wishful Merfolk. Seven dwarves, outflank. Insatiable appetite, memory theft. Ginger boot, there he is again. Running away from the gingerbread house, no doubt, trapped in the tower. Golden Egg, Idyllic Grange, Garambrig Paladin, and Uncommon's Shine Chaser, Archon of Absolution, Red Cat Melee, got the goblins up to mischief there, and the rare is <laughs> Folio of Fancies, wah 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 wah, artifact for two players, have no maximum hand size. Pay X, X, tap each player, draws X cards for two and a blue, tap. Each opponent puts their number of cards equal to the number of cards in their hand from the top of their library into their graveyard. And a forest and a human token. So I'm going to call Brian the winner there. So I think Brian won overall, especially with that spicy mythic. Where is it? Here he is, Polukranos, World Eater. Very nice indeed. Okay, so we'll set these aside for the patrons. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.